Well, oh, geez, that TV volume is low. There we go. How's it going, everybody? I'm back on the YouTube again. And sorry for the long absence. I was finishing up high school and everything. Getting done with finals and projects and everything. But now I have... I am finally done. Um, so I now finally have more time to actually do videos and personal artworks. Um, and the thing is that the first thing I wanted to do... I Well, first of all... Okay, I'm just now speaking out of the blue. But as you can see, I am also being able to use my capture card on the Wii U. So that means that I would be able to play any sort of Wii and Wii U games that I would like. And also Switch games that I would like using this capture card. So that means that my library of games have has now just grown over three different generations. Um, so uh, there are some Wii games I would love to play, some Wii U games... And of course, there's still the Switch games. But starting off for today, we're going to play some Nintendo Land. I just recently... I just bought the game yesterday, along with a Sega Genesis and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It actually works! And I was actually able to play it. And it's a really nice addition to my retro thing. Wait, what the? Hold on. Excuse me for a moment. Let me see something really quick. Maybe I did something wrong. Because well, I know I've played this game already, but it's also been like a really long time since I last played it. And what I was wanting to do is I was wanting to completely reset the game. Start a new file for you guys. Also, if this thing works. It shouldn't take this long. There we go. Now hold on a moment. I'm sorry that this video has had a rough start now. So just give me a moment while I Get rid of some data. See if this works now. Cause I'm just wanting to start fresh, like have a a new start to the file. Let's see if this would work now. Oh, here we go. Touch the Wii U gamepad to start. Ah, here we go. Fresh new start. 
Hello, question mark block. Hmm. I haven't really seen Hello? a lot of this stuff in a long time. Hello? Could you please let me out? Just touch the box on your Wii U gamepad. Alrighty. Touch. Hello? Welcome to Nintendo Land. I am Monita, your park guide. Thank you. I'm sure you're excited to get right to the attraction. But for first time visitors, we recommend some practice exercises. Sure. First to warm up, try looking around. Whoa. Hold the game cat up on, facing the TV. Good. Yep. Move the game pad like a viewfinder to find me. Oh, hello. Okay. Now again. Where are you going? Move the game pad to find me. Hello. Excellent. Now, one last time. Move the game pad to find me. Hello. Okay, great work. Thank you. Next, we'll practice moving around. Use the left stick on the game pad to run. You can also use the right stick to look around. Press the CL button to squint and zoom in. Press the CR button to jump. Oh my gosh, it is nice to do a triple jump from Mario. Excellent. That concludes our warm-up exercises. Alrighty. Now, there's something I want to show you. What's that? Here you go. Presto. Presto? That's a big question block. Please, don't be shy. Open it. Alrighty. It will open if you tap on the box. Boop. It's the symbol of Nintendo Land, the central tower. Yeah, it's a big tower. I bet you'd like to see the view from up top. Let me show you the way. Okay. Just tap on the tower to go to the top. Boop. Hello. How do you like the view? It's real nice. The magnificent area you see below you is Nintendo Land Plaza. Now then. Yes. Let me introduce the main feature here of Nintendo Land. The attractions. Now this is more like Nintendo it. Nintendo Land features a wide range of attractions. Some can be played alone. Others are meant for games. Nintendo Land is all about variety. Now this is more like it. You can run through any gate that catches your eye. You can get information about the attractions from the signs in front of each gate. Alrighty, boink. Alright. This place is looking... Hmm, which one should I do? Let's see, there's the Zelda one, there's Pikmin. Hmm. Let's see, some of these I'm going to have to come with a friend or family for this one. Stray Ninja Castle. This one's a short one. It's only a one player. Top of Marlowe's Ninja Castle. A fast paced solo attraction. Okay. Let's head inside. Let's start. Oh my gosh, I recognize this tune from Mario Maker. Alrighty. So I gotta hold the thing sideways. You guys won't be able to see what I do. But you guys will be able to see what's going on on the, on the main screen. It's been a while since I last played this game, so I might be a little rusty. Know your enemy, know yourself, and you shall not fear a hundred ninjas. Uh-huh. It is time for us to begin today's throwing star training. Okay. Now point the red arrow on the game pad toward the curtain. As a warm-up, let's use the Tycho Drum as our target. 
Sorry if my audio might be a bit off because of the way I need to hold this. The quicker the sliding motion, the more forceful the throw. Throw every star like it is your last. Your throws may not give you a second chance. If you run out of throwing stars in the middle of a heated battle, or if the red reticle position seems off, throw the game pad up right. Alrighty. Understood? Just yep. move the game pad up right to refill your throwing stars. Hey, let me go. Release me at once. How about... Hey. Please, 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 please. I'm trying. So yeah, my audio might be a bit muffled. Let's go. Got a coin. That actually scared me for a moment. Come on. Yes. Pretty good. I just can't remember some of this stuff from like a long time ago. Let's take it slowly a little bit. Alright. I spared two ninjas. Ah, uh, oh boy. Let's keep going. Scene two. I'll not spare any. Ah, oh boy, I already spared one. Hello, green guys. Oh, hello. Hello, blue man. Now, yeah, so I missed one. Okay, we're moving forward. Try to scroll. Get you out of the way. Oh, okay. Come on, get, get out of here. Yeah. I'm sorry if my audio becomes off. Okay. I'm still doing pretty good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. This is called telepathy. I can speak directly into your head. All right. Overcoming the trials ahead will not be easy. You must learn the secrets of scrolls. I got one. If you manage to find the scroll, you can use it by drawing a circle on the touch screen. This will let you use the plate bombs enemies have been throwing. Neat. Is that clear? Just draw a circle to use plate bombs. Yep. Break the pot.
Okay. Alrighty. Let's see, what act is this one? Scene 3, I mean. No. No. Where did all these blue guys come from? Now, probably I missed one. But I need to get good. Get out! I'm still doing good. Alright, boss time. Now here we go. And... Go. almost taking out everything on it. Come on. Come on. It's a little bit 
bit more. Alright. There we go. I got almost everything off of him. Boom. Now hold on. I remember something from when I first played it. I knew you would come. Thank you for rescuing me. Yeah, yeah. My vocal synthesis prohibits me from showing happiness through my voice, but I assure you I am ecstatic. You have exhibited great skill and courage. You are truly a throwing star master. Yeah, yeah. You will be rewarded for your bravery. Now, fell Can't do it on the first try. Guess I'd have to come back. But hey, I got a silver trophy. And I got a stamp, 10 star defense. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. But didn't the princess seem to be acting a little strange? I wonder, was it really her? Of course it wasn't her. Eh. <sighs> oh boy. I'm going back. I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna get to that mini game. Oh, hello. Cutscene. Congratulations. Thank you. You've been recognized as a star player for this attraction. Really? In honor of your achievement. Shazam. Shazam. Hey, got a star. I placed this shining stars off the attraction entrance. Thank you. Please challenge yourself to get stars in other attractions as well. That's neat. Also, another cutscene. Hello, it's me, Monita, again. Yeah? This time I want to show you how you can liven up the plaza. Really? Did you notice you get points after you finish playing an attraction? Yep. These are our park's exclusive currency, Nintendo Land coins. They look more like Mario coins. You can use these to get prizes to liven up the park. When you earn coins, come to the top of the tower. First, touch the tower. Alrighty, and already at the top. Now, touch the big monitor. You'll receive a prize for each stage you clear in this coin game. Nice. The controls are easy. Just press the A button to drop Nintendo Land coins. Why don't we give one a try? Okay. Go. Okay, so this one's just a, a setup one. I got one prize. Woo! Did you see that? The thing that just went flying was a prize. You have to open it to see what's inside. Play lots of games, win lots of prizes, watch your park flourish. Thank you. All right, let's get some more of these prizes. Um, oof. Hopefully I'll even be able to get one. See, this is like the big reason why I wanted to restart this is just because of the prizes. Ah, here we go. There we go, I got a prize. That's one. That's one. And that's two. Let's try to get as many of these in as possible. There we go, right down the middle. One more. Bowie. No. 
Come on. No. Yes. Got a second prize. Got two with one shot. And I'm out of coins. But I did get a prize. I got two prizes. Alright, let's go find where those prizes were. Ah, here's one. Hello. Scroll. It's a scroll, uh huh? Now, I remember that. Ah, here we go. There's one. Oh, hey, it's the, it's the mask. More Sammy mask. That's cool. More Sammy mask. Okay, let's see. Where's the other one? Because I know I have a total of three different prizes. Ah, here we go. Two and three. One, two and five. Tyco job. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's see, what to do next? Here we go. I never actually beat this one before. The, the Donkey Kong's Crash Course. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I didn't know I was secretly a machine. So this one mainly uses tilt controls of the, well, the gyro kind of thing of the Wii U gamepad. This one, I've been able to make it pretty far. Just never been able to make it to Welcome the end. Welcome to Donkey Kong's Crash Course. Thank you. In this attraction, you move by tilting the gamepad left and right. Yeah, that's what I said. Your goal is to make your way safely to the end of the obstacle course. If you hit anything at high speed, land on your head, or otherwise tragically explode, you'll lose a life. Oof. Let's start off with the practice run. Now, hold the gamepad securely with both hands. Yep. Okay. So I mainly just I'm mainly looking at the the Wii U gamepad, which is a more zoomed in version. Well, you guys get to look at the big picture. But I'm doing pretty good. So I made it past the tutorial. Yeah. Well done. That concludes your practice run. Did you familiarize yourself with steering? Yep. Okay, away you go. Okay. See, I've always made it to that part, but I've never been able to make it to the end. So let's go. Area two. I remember back whenever I first played this, I struggled with it so much. Oh. Okay. Take it nice and slow. Alrighty. Well, gotta keep on remembering the. Oh. Oh, yeah. It kind of gets really hard, especially since I'm trying to speak into a microphone as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I made it. All right, too, let's rotate. Rotate some more. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, that kind of scared me for a moment. Okay, rotate the left stick. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ah, Philly. Wait, what the? Oh my gosh. You can still see me going. Look at me, I'm already at the bottom right of the screen. But hey, I still got somewhere. I got a silver trophy. Perfect through area two. <laughs> All right, let's try something else. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hello again, your old friend Monita's back. Yeah. How did you like that attraction? It was good. I'm here to introduce Nintendo Land's very own locomotive, the Tour Train. The Tour Train? Chugga chugga wow. Hello. Please tap. This is the Tour Train. Get on and press the A button to do is play on the attraction tour. The attraction tour is a wildly fun competition for groups of two or more. That'd be neat. Your friends for life, cheers, and battle cries. Oh. Your ticket to a new dimension of party amusement. That kind of scares me a little bit. Once your group is ready, get on the train and press the A button. Okay. See, I can't play the Mario Chase. I can't play the Luigi's Mansion one. I could play that one. Can't play Animal Crossing. I could play Balloon Fight, I think. Here, let's see. Let's at least get a, um some more prizes. Fry in the hole. Already got one prize ready. Okay. Okay, that one didn't go in the hole. Okay. I need... Hmm. There we go. That's two prizes.
Okay, I'm down to one again. Let's see. I see one over there. Excuse me, train. Let's see, what's this? Gear crane, right. It's the right gear crane. That's neat. Oh, there's something. Can't tap it from over here. Alright, here we go. Katana. Ooh, katana. Ooh, that's cool looking. Oh, hello, train. Let's see. That's the Metroid, isn't it? That's the Metroid one. Let's try Pikmin. It's a simple one, but it also has kind of more like a story mode kind of thing. Play as an Olimar. What I just really like is how it, how some of these kind of have more of like a story kind of thing to it. Okay. So I'm going to be having to look down. For this. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hopefully you'll be able to display what's going on on the screen up above. Now let me introduce the evil overlord. Dark Lolita. Oh, yes. This is quite amazing. I am Dark Lolita, the evil overlord. Hi. I was expecting to just sit back and watch you escape. Prepare yourself. Sorry, I turned down the volume on my Switch gamepad. I have to fight the evil Monita. Bulborb Forest. So yeah, you guys get to watch a, a live thing of me doing this. Ah, look at all the fluffies.
Ah, oh, this feels so much so relaxing. Hello. This is Nectar. Collect as many blocks of Nectar as possible to get stronger. Getting stronger? I got a bunch of nectar. Hello, evil Manita. Oh my gosh, I love it how it's like in a little container. Level two. Level three. I just wanted to level him up as well. It says that you become stronger. I'm wondering what all it could mean. They leveled up to level four. And I leveled up to level four. Come on, break the thing open. There we go. Ah, here we go. We get to all teleport. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, hi. Oh! Olimar can now command more Pikmin. Their attack power has also increased significantly. Well, that's cool! destroy all these blocks. You never, if there's like literally nothing in these things. But then again, I know that's just damage that dealing. Okay. Alrighty, we got the thing open. Okay, let's call everyone here and let's go. Oh geez, look at all that. Look at all that health I've got now. Keep on thinking that there's like gonna be like something special here. Let's go! Let's see, is this the boss room? I guess it is. Oh, it's a yellow guy. I want to see merchandise of these 
of these things from this game. This game has has so much potential. Help, 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 help. Thank you. the little guys first. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. Get all those coins. Hey, it's the rocket. And this time, Olimar didn't crash. Oh wait, I'm Olimar. There we go. And off we go, we escaped. Got a stamp, a AI protector. But hey, that's good. Let me get a quick drink. Yeah. There we go. I still wish that there was like merchandise of this, of a lot of this stuff from this game. Like, I don't know why, but I always geek out over the little capsule things. Or like little mystery kind of containers. Kind of like explained by my my couple of videos that were of unboxing of blind bags or blind boxes it just gets me all excited and I want to see more of this kind of stuff never really see that much of it defeat King Beeb oh, okay you reset levels well hello this is a bomb. it will explode if you pick it up and throw it Approach the bomb and tap on it to pick it up. Yeah, come on. Find the hole. Looking good. Hello, secret box. Let's see, what else is around? Jump switch. A jump switch? It will activate when Olimar stands on it and calls the pigment. Okay. Whee! Hello, Eva Monita. Pick these up to equip your pigment with a thunderous attack. Ooh. They also provide protection that will block one enemy attack. 
That's cool. Nice. We're getting stronger and stronger. We get stronger together. What do you want? Thanks for throwing your little, um, those little mystery crank things, the crank -kais or whatever. Jeez, these guys do a lot of damage. No, 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 no. Help me! Thank you. Now come on, let's get these guys. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Gotta get him leveled up too. this oh it's a Pikmin box let's see is there anything else around Give some to him. There you go. There we go. Gotta make sure to even out the the stuff we get. Hold oh, on, that's a big heart. Hey, it's a little box. Gave me a coin. How nice. Let's see, I don't think there's really anything in here. Nope. The button's activated. Oh, there we go. Olimar's Pikmin have grown into flower Pikmin. Olimar's Pikmin have grown in number and become stronger. That's cool. Now we just need him to go to level 10 as well. And also, it looks like he lost his hammer. do it the normal way, huh? What you got this time? Oh. Let's 
Get him while he's down. Big guy. Come on. Question mark block right there. Where did I miss that? Where did I miss that one? I don't know. But I still escape. Well, escape, I mean. Um, let's see. I think I'm doing pretty good. Hello. Hello again, Saliva. Checking in. I want to show you something. What you got? It's a handy new way for me to enter attraction. Ever forget that? Here, touch the icon in the lower right corner of the screen. These act like attraction entrances. Select any car to enter the corresponding attraction. The big train card at the bottom is for the attraction tour. The icon on the bottom left is for option. The icon in the lower right will take you back to the plaza. That concludes my explanation. Keep having fun out there. Alright. Let's get some more prizes. Wow, first shot. Okay, let's get all these in there. Okay, I got two more. Oh, there we go. That's two prizes. Not one went in there. Come on. Finally! And I'm down to one coin left. But hey, I got three prizes. Let's see what they all are. They all went to the left. Here's the first one. Bulborb. Neat. Ah, here we go. Here's the last one. Hey, I got both of the cranks now. This is starting to look a lot more lively. I mean, 
apart from Meverse, which is gone. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode. And the next time we play, we'll probably play some more some more of these mini games. Like we might go back to the to the ninja one and complete that. There's still the Legend of Zelda one, the Pikmin one we need to beat. And there's also the Metroid one that I want to try. But yeah, there's still a pretty good amount of stuff to do here. Let's go back to the top of the tower. But yeah, I hope you all are having an amazing, have an amazing day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.